Hi, this is Excel Video 61. I'm Nate Moore. We're done talking about conditional formatting. I want to spend a few videos talking about a really powerful tool called VLOOKUP. If you're not familiar with VLOOKUP, watch these, this series of videos. I think you'll find it very, very helpful to what you're doing in your practice. If you are familiar with VLOOKUP, hang tight. There's, uh, we're going to go through a basic video or two, and then I think there are a lot of new things, some cool things you can do with VLOOKUP that you, I think you'll learn from. I hope you'll find valuable. The idea of VLOOKUP is to say, hey, I've got these patients, and I've got some diagnosis codes in this tab, in this spreadsheet, in this table. Sure be nice if I had a description for these diagnosis codes. Well, over here in this tab, I've got a table that has all kinds of diagnosis codes here with the code, and right next to it's the description. It'd sure be nice to put this description right here, and VLOOKUP's the tool to do it. The formula for VLOOKUP looks like this. You type VLOOKUP, and then Excel is looking for three things, a lookup value, a table array, and a column index number. And then this range lookup is an optional variable that we'll come back to. Let's look at the, let's get this lookup value for you first. Excel says, what are you looking for? Well, I'm looking for cell B2. I want to know what 190.1 description is. No problem. So put a comma there, and then it says, all right, what's the table array? Where's the table where I'm going to find the 190.1? That's no problem either. I'm going to come here and go shift in down. And I'm going to hit, watch what happens up here when I hit the F4 key. See these, when I hit the F4 key, Excel automatically put dollar signs in front of the row and the column reference so that when I copy this reference down to a bunch of cells, it'll always look at A2 to B198, the table where my information is. I'm going to do a comma. And then the last piece of information Excel needs is this column index number. And what that's saying is, if you find 196.0 in column 1, what do you want me to do? Well, I want to get what's in column 2. So I'm going to put a 2 there, put a parenthesis, and I'm done. So with that, what Excel's done is it's pulled for me the description. It found 190.1 in this table, and it pulled the description out of column 2. And then if I do a fill down by double-clicking there, there they are. I've got all kinds of diagnosis codes automatically linked because I've got this field, the 190.1, and here's the 190.1 right there in this table. And so Excel can find the 190.1 in this table and gives you back whichever column you want. Very, very powerful tool to combine or consolidate data. If you're trying to get data out of your practice management system, you need to take something from one table and then pull something from another table and put them together. Very, very powerful tool. There's a bunch of things you can do with VLOOKUP. We'll start going through those in the next video. Thanks for watching.